Hi, and welcome to this demo highlighting how HCL software can help accelerate flow across the SAP DevOps pipeline. Organizations who are just beginning the DevOps journey or well on their way to a DevOps transformation know the importance of focusing on delivering measurable business results while working to achieve business objectives. Objectives which may include increasing release frequency, delivering high quality secure software, growing the business in a manner which contributes to lowering development costs and reducing risk and HCL software solutions can help teams achieve results and meet the demands of their stakeholders along with the end consumer. So let's begin with the story. As a business stakeholder, I want, know I need, my engineering department to be able to release high quality software faster, more frequently, and with a higher degree of success. Their ability to do this will help me meet customer demands, increase market share and revenue, deliver new innovation faster than the competition, and grow market share or create new markets. But before we get into showing how HCL software can help deliver on the story, let's review the key components of the technical solution. JIRA provides the repository where new ideas and business requests are submitted and collected for the purposes of release planning. Through the integration between JIRA and SAP Charm, as the work item moves through the defined process, the JIRA work item is updated with information from SAP, including the CHARM ID and Transport ID. With the CHARM ID and Transport ID available, the developer begins work in CHARM implementing the change. This is followed by subjecting that change to automated tests and security scans orchestrated by HCL Launch and executed by HCL One Test and HCL App Scan. When the tests and scans have completed, the results are shared back to HCL Accelerate through an API call issued by HCL Launch and made available in dashboard showing the trends. And while all this is happening, the updates to work item status and a complete audit trail of the activities associated to the work item are being synced with HCL Accelerate, capturing the data needed, allowing organizations to make better decisions regarding the optimization of flow from idea to the end user. Now let's see it in action. We start in JIRA where a new work item of type task is created to begin the journey. And as defined in the approved process, all work starts off in the backlog. Quickly switching over to HCL Accelerate and through the integration with JIRA, we see the new task has entered the value stream in the backlog stage of the planning phase. Linking back to the work item in JIRA, once development of the idea has been improved, the task is moved into the selected for development state. As implementing a change in an SAP system requires a change request in CHARM, the work item is moved to the create CHARM ID state. And as the change request is generated, the CHARM ID is linked to the JIRA work item. Switching to SAP Charm and after a quick search, the change request is listed, sharing details on the JIRA ID, the description, the priority, and the status. Drilling into the change request, the team is able to see details of the requested change and begin advancing the change through the SAP process. And in HCL Accelerate, the team can see that the work item is advanced to the Create Charm ID stage. Clicking on the work item dot, the team can review the work item details and history, including the CHARM ID, as part of the audit log or digital chain of custody. With the change request ID now created, it is time to assign the work to a team member and update the status to in progress. Again, taking advantage of the integration between JIRA and SAP CHARM, the action of putting work into the in progress state automatically creates the SAP transport and adds the transport ID to the JIRA work item. Returning to SAP Charm, the developer confirms the transport is linked to the change request and implements the change. The company code is updated as requested. The change is associated to the transport. 
and the transport is released from development. Next is to verify the update and scan the code to make sure no new security vulnerabilities were introduced. Advancing the change request to the to be tested state kicks off the automated quality and security checks. Implemented with the automated flow associated to the to be tested state is a call to HCL launch to orchestrate the execution of both functional UI tests and security scans. In this automated process, the tests and scans will be run in parallel as a time saving. Viewing the HCL launch output log for the one test UI web UI test step, the team can see exactly which test suite from which project is being run to verify this change. And with a quick look into HCL one test UI, the team can see details of the test steps being performed. And as I mentioned earlier in describing the HCL launch automated process, while the functional tests are running, HCL AppScan Static Analyzer is scanning the code base for vulnerabilities which could be exploited by hackers. Now let's look at the HCL Launch Command Output Log and check on the execution verdict of the functional tests as they complete. In addition to automatically executing the UI tests, the automated process has been configured to push the test execution results to HCL Accelerate. Navigating to the Insights view, teams are able to view test execution results over time and visualize trends to determine if the desired level of software quality improvement is being realized. Now let's look at the details of the security scans. Returning to HCL Launch and following similar steps, the output log is viewed showing that the scans have completed successfully. A quick look in AppScan shows the scan details. There were seven issues, two high and five medium. And navigating to HCL Accelerate, same as before, the scan logs have been parsed and the application vulnerabilities chart presents the same findings along with details of previous scans. Moving ahead in the demo and working in SAP Charm, the team advances the change request to successfully test it. A quick check in JIRA and HCL Accelerate, we see that the state has been automatically updated, thanks to the integrations. And drilling into the digital chain of custody or audit trail captured in HCL Accelerate, we not only see the time this work item is spent in each state, but also specifics including the SAP Charm ID and Transport ID. It is this type of timing data which helps organizations identify process bottlenecks and take action to remediate as they work to achieve the desired business objectives. Returning to SAP Charm, let's complete the remaining steps in our journey to production. And while this demo doesn't show it, know that different tests and types of tests can be included in the automated process as the change request moves through the testing for preliminary import and production import stages. As an example, perhaps prior to a production release, performance and regression tests must be run. Two great candidates for inclusion in the automated process and another way to speed up the release process and improve quality, making the final authorized for import decision much easier as it is based on data. And with an acceptable level of quality and security, the change is released to production. A final look at the value stream in HCL Accelerate shows the task complete and a review of the work item history proves beyond doubt that the approved process was followed ensuring a level of governance. Whether you are working in an SAP environment, non-SAP environment or heterogeneous environment, HCL Software's DevOps solution delivers measurable business results and helps organizations achieve their objectives whether that be accelerating releases, increasing quality, reducing business risk, or optimizing and scaling DevOps capabilities across the enterprise. Thanks for watching.